So you want to connect your CRT television to your laptop or desktop. Now unfortunately you can't go directly from RCA and to jogging memory. RCA is white, red, and yellow cables to VGA. But um, because the RCA is an analog and you know VGA and other things are digital. I think. That's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. So, in fact, when you have like a flat screen, a plasma screen TV that has RCA, it's actually converting. It's not natively supporting what you're plugging into the three RCA cables. It's being converted. The CRT will natively support any, um, you know, video games you have that use this, which is why a lot of uh, retro video game enthusiasts will swear on the CRT television for playing their video games. But, um, what you're going to need is one of these. Now, there's a lot of models for these. The one I got is, you know, Fossman or whatever. I'll link to it in the description. But, um, it has to look like this kind of box, because they're all kind of based on the same model. And, you know, it looks like this because you're going to convert it from digital to analog or whatever. And also, it has these buttons on here so you can adjust what you're seeing on the television. So, it needs to have these. It also needs to have the power and you know as video and all that stuff so that's why you need a big weird box like this and not just regular cables the model that i bought has a vga to vga little thing in here so you just go you know vga in here vga in here that's good if you buy another model maybe it won't come with it maybe look in the description but if not you also want to get a vga to vga wire that I, you know i also have laying around it's good to have a lot of cables laying around just in case um, audio-wise, you might want to get one of these. Now, of course, this is optional. I'm going to assume that you want audio to come from your television and not from your computer. So this has a 3.5 millimeter head jack, headphone jack. You plug into the side of here, and the two stereo RCA cables on your left and right. So this is why you're going to need one of these, and optional one of these. Um, of course, the tutorial will be covering converting from VGA, so if you have DisplayPort, HDMI, USB-C, or whatever, um, you know, maybe look to get some more dongles to adapt to that, this. So, in it, we'll have this. You know, we cover this. The other thing is, is um, the actual thing. So, on the side, the yellow one is, of course, what you'd expect from an RCA cable. So one goes into the yellow thing here, the other one goes into your CRT, that's good. And the other thing is going to be, this is an S-Video. If your um, CRT has S-Video, you can use this as well. I might actually consider um, showing you both, because my CRT that I have also has S-Video, I can show you both. And then finally is the power. So that's going to be in the back, this is the power. You have one thing in here that goes into power, and you have one USB cable that goes into your computer. So this is all the wires that you're going to get if you're, you know, VGA to RCA, VGA converter, or whatever. You know, it has to look like this. It doesn't have to be the specific model, but it has to, like, have a weird box thingy. So let's move on to the actual CRT television, and I'll show you how to actually plug it in. Here is the television that I'm going to plug it into, and here is the back, as you can see it has the S-Video as well as the three RCA cables that you're going to plug it into. And this laptop is plugged in, as you can see it creates little bars on the side because it's usually in 16 by 9 but the black bars are put there to be in 4 by 3 and I'll put over here if I found any black bars. Now, the thing is that it does a black bar thing so I can fit there, but if you actually change the resolution, as I'm doing right here, to um, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio resolution, it will fix the black bars, and the other screen will be the same as well, because it's actually like adapting it and shit. Strange. So for example, this video I'm watching here is in... 4 by 3 aspect ratio mode, so the black bars in there, and on the TV, there are black bars on the top and bottom. So, there's aspect ratios galore over here. However, 
if you set the resolution to um, 60 by 9 laptop, it'll squish to 4 by 3 on that one. So really, whenever you plug this in, you should just set the resolution to 16 by 9 that your computer's on, because it'll adapt and change to fit the 4 by 3 here. It's going to squish it, so there won't be black bars, because the laptop's not in 4 by 3 watching 16 by 9 and the 60 by 9 will be shown in the 4 by 3 with black bars on top and bottom because there's black bars on the left and right laptop and all that good stuff, you get the idea. Now, I'm using my other sync pad, as you can see, I have two, but I have Neon Genesis Evangelion, the full series on this sync pad. So, since this is a 4 by 3 aspect ratio anime from the 90s, it fits a lot better on the screen. So if you're going to be watching shit, definitely 4x3 is the way to go because of the, the aspect ratio of this thing. But it actually looks pretty good. Um, of course you're seeing lag because you're seeing it's to like layers of shit, but it's actually running pretty smooth. Now the RCA adapter can plug into either RCA or S-Video, and my TV supports both, so here's a little comparison between the two. Now I also got this video, um, 30fps, 60fps comparison, just to see if that would work, and indeed, of course you can't see it through the video, but it is actually showing 60fps. So, now I'm testing playing a game on the laptop. As you can see, I have a laptop over there, I have a controller over here. Let's see if there's any input lag from the controller to the computer to the TV. And I have not experienced any input lag, I think it works pretty well. You know, this is just me testing it. And, um, you know, the colors are a bit washed out, but, um, you know, this game isn't made for CRTs. If you're playing older games or whatever that are made for CRT televisions, they look pretty good in here compared to plasma screen. So, yeah, um, that's my whole video. And, um, I guess I would say, if you know, if you're looking at this and reviving your CRT television, I would say go for it. I think it works pretty well for what it's made for. Um, you know, if you want to adapt your television to watch TV, you can do it. It just isn't as clear for things that aren't made for CRT. There's clearly a difference between the mediums.